Humans of the Cardboard, we are here. We are back with huge Animation Chronicle reveals. We have, I, I think, eight separate Performa Pal slash Perform Age cards. I don't know which one they actually fall into. I have not read any of them at all. Uh, new cards here for Animation Chronicle. That is huge. Uh, also kind of huge, especially since uh, a good amount of you seem to be pretty hype on this. When we already knew we were getting the new Trapeze Magician, a lot of you were really hype on that. If they make that into a you know a playable version in, in modern day. We'll have to see though. We've got, we've got eight new cards. I have to assume some of these are going to have some solid playability. We'll obviously see as we go. I do want to preface this by saying I don't know too much about the Perform Ages already. So I'm going to be going at this with like a standpoint of like in a vacuum how good are these cards and then go from there you guys fill me in in the comments from there all right first off we start off with her this is perform age fire whoa 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 uh perform age fire dancer um she's a level four fire spell caster uh effect 14 12 for the stats pendulum scale six don't know if that's good or not it seems like kind of like an, a mid scale like it's not high enough but high probably high in general these it's probably decently enough uh, in scale, pendulum effect. You can once per turn, you can target a perform age monster you control. This turn, if it attacks a defense with some monster, inflict piercing damage. Okay, nothing crazy there. Hopefully, the monster effects are a little better. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add a perform age monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's a pretty decent effect. Okay, we've got ourselves a Stratos. Love that. Uh, so it's just in, a pen, in the form of a pendulum monster, so if we can just pen summon this, this is searching us. Or if we have to normal summon it to get a play started, that works. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, target to face a monster on the field, it loses 500 attack. Fine. Sure. That's just like a little baby effect. Cool. Not bad. I mean, like, it's a Stratos. That's probably decent enough. All right, next up we have Perform Age Water Dancer to pair with the Fire Dancer up above level four Water Spellcaster effect 1214 for the stats, Pendulum Scale two. That's probably low enough. I don't think there are too many uh, level two or lower in the uh, in the archetype, but we'll see. Pendulum effect. Uh, you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Whoops. Still trying to figure out the new layout of. Uh, of YG organization to make this work for uh, for videos. Sorry about that if it's a little clunky here. Uh, sorry, so Pendulum Effect. In scale, if you control Perform a Pal Monster, or Perform Mage Monster, you can special summon this card. So from scale, this card just summons itself out if you control a, a Perform Mage. That's pretty decent. When a monster declares an attack, you can target one attack position monster, change it to defense position. Sure. Uh, that's fine. Uh... That's actually pretty interesting. Does that mean like if a monster, if your opponent's monster declares an attack, can you change their monster to defense position so that way the battle doesn't resolve like that? I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't even know the ruling on that. Like technically you've already cleared a, an attack. Does that mean you go through with the attack but assuming your monster was in defense position and attacking from defense position? I have no idea on how that ruling would work that first effect though is pretty decent especially since the monster above being a stratos means that normal summon that card search this put this in scale then special summon it boom you're already getting into your if that's one card with the normal summon into beyond the pendulum or in the ocg's case maybe uh electromite there you go then you're off to the races uh, doing more pendulum stuff from there monster effects you can only use the first effect of its monster effect once per turn here we go if this card is Pendulum Summoned, you can add a Palmerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, target an attack position monster, change it to defense position. So again, this card is a search card, but it's searching for poly. Is that good enough? Maybe, considering the fact that it's already just like an, uh, like an all right extender anyway. So you're like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, I think we're okay with that. Like, we're probably using this as an extender for the most part anyway, but being able to grab a poly is nice. I know there are some fusion monsters. I think there's a fusion monster here that we're going to look at in a little bit as well. Not a bad card either. Next up here, we move to Perform Mage Wind Drainer. This is a level 5 wind spellcaster, so they're all over the map in terms of attributes. Uh, attack 21, uh, defense 0. And its pendulum scale is four, right in the middle. So pretty, pretty cringe scale, but hopefully that means it's not really doing much in the scale. Once per turn, you can target one 
Perform Mage, Pendulum Monster, you control to activate one of these effects. Reduce its level by one, or increase this card's Pendulum Scale by that monster. Um, that's not terrible. Like, honestly, that, 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 that redeems this card a little bit, at least that in scale, it can, like, adjust its its scale level to potentially be able to uh, summon something out that maybe you otherwise wouldn't be. Um, as, or even just adjusting a level to make a certain potentially Synchro or Exceed monster could also come up. That's not a terrible effect, but it's, it's not wowing me by any means. Monster effect, you can only use the first effect once per turn. If your opponent controls a monster, any monster, or a perform age or, or a perform age monsters on the field you can special summon this card from your hand and if you do you cannot special summon while this monster is on the field except perform age monsters okay that's not a terrible extender either that just says either no monsters on the field or i'm sorry whether your either your opponent could just controls anything or there is a perform age this card does just jump on the field again another extender and pendulum extenders are just even if they're kind of basic, don't do much type of extenders, they're still better than any other just generic extender because like these cards do just make Beyond the Pendulum or Electromite for whichever format has them legal. Uh, so cool, that's actually not the worst. And then if this card is special summon, you can reduce its level by one. That's nice because it's a little five, so getting it down to a little four is pretty nifty there to make it a little uh, easier to make go into rank fours or synchro eights. That's usually what Pendulum decks like to do. And last effect, once per turn, you can change the levels of all level 4 Perform Age monster you control to level 5. Okay, so I believe the new the new Exceed monster we're going to get to here in a little bit is a, sync, or is an, uh, a rank 5. So be, this card may be the connecting piece where it's a decent little extender, jumps on the field, then makes everything level 5. We'll just have to see how good those Exceed monsters are. And I think the last main deck monster here is this guy here. This is Perform Age Cup Tricker. Very cute little guy hiding under the cup. Uh, level 5 light spellcaster, 1200 attack, 1400 defense. Pendulum scale 1, so low scale, that's nice. You can uh, Pendulum effects are hard ones per turn, both of them. Um, the first one says you can target one performage Exceed monster you control. Attach this card to it as material. So from, from the Pendulum zone, it can get its, uh, an extra material onto an Exceed. That's nice. And if a card or card is added to your extra deck, to your extra deck. Okay, so this would be you've summoned a monster from your extra deck or you've dumped a monster from your extra deck. Something, I'm going to assume summon in most cases. And then you're able to put one back. Oh, so that even, that even means if you summon a pendulum extra deck monster, like a, like a Exceed pendulum monster or a Synchro pendulum monster, a couple of them do exist, and it goes to the extra deck face up. Oh, I, sorry, I'm so dumb. <laughs> um, this is any card. So any pendulum monster added to your extract, so that just goes in, goes on top of the extract face up, like you would do. If this card is in the scale, you can trigger this effect to add any face up perform age pendulum monster from your extract to your hand. Okay, that's way way better, right? So if you just like link off a perform age, which would type with a link off synchro off, or I guess fuse off, they would that would all send them to the extract, which would then just trigger this card to just add one back to the hand. For better pendulum summoners, for putting up scales, that's actually a pretty good recovery, like recover pendulum effect. Monster effects, both the monster effects here are hard ones per turn. Let's see how they go. First one, if this card is in your hand, you can target an Exceed monster on the field. Detach an XYZ material from it. If you do special summon this card, then one XV, XYZ monster on the field loses 600 attack. That's like a weird goblin, goblin biker type effect. Like, that's why is that low key like pearly hate? like ripping a Exceed material off a monster on the field. As an extender on your end, it seems kind of mid to me, just because uh, like you have to already get to an Exceed monster just to even make this card live as an extender if you're like going first. But decent pendulum effect kind of redeems that a little bit. And uh, the fact that like its monster extension effect is just a little mid. And last effect, if this card is detached from an XYZ monster and sent to the graveyard to activate that monster's effect, you can target two XYZ monsters you control, detach one material from one of them, and attach it to the other. I guess we're going to have to read some of these Exceed monsters coming up, but that does not seem like the best effect. I was actually hoping that if this was like detached, it was like an extra interruption. That actually could be kind of clean, but it is not that. So, not that worried about that. 
All right, let's get to some of these extract monsters. The first one here is a fusion. We already have shown a new perform mage monster that searches polymerization. So this isn't the hardest thing to make. This is perform mage trapeze witch. It's a level seven dark spell caster fusion, 2400 attack, 1800 defense. It takes any two perform mages. I like that that's just any two and that's kind of uh, generic potentially enough. Your opponent cannot target perform mage monsters you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed uh, this says destroy your card effects. I'm assuming they can't be destroyed by your card effects. Your opponent's card effects, maybe. Um, okay. So on field, it gives you targeting and destruction protection. I'm assuming is, is what this translation is trying to say here. That's not terrible. That's actually not bad protection at all. That's basically one tier shy of like, like towers level protection. Your opponent's monsters cannot target this card with a uh, foreign attack while you control a perform mage monster other than herself. So even again, as an annoying protection piece, your opponent can't go directly after this card. They have to attack something else. And when an attack is declared involving your perform mage monster and an opponent's monster, you can make that opponent's monster lose 600 attack. Uh, that's not the effect we really wanted to see, to be honest. I, this card's probably not playable. This card's pretty bad. Like, the only redeeming quality with this card is just the protection effect. And everything else is, was, was pretty dang mid. Uh, so this card probably isn't playable enough to me for Perform Mages. Next up, we have this guy who's, I'll be honest, artwork I like. But his artwork is so different from all the other Perform Mages we've seen here today. So hopefully... This card is pretty interesting. This is Performage Shadow, Shadow Maker, uh, rank five dark spellcaster monster, 2610 for the stats. Three level five monsters. Jeez. Okay, you better be good, or we better have a way to rank up into him pretty easily. First and third effects are hard ones per turn. You can detach uh, one material from this card and send one perform age monster from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, foolish burial for trick clown potentially to add a rank up magic spell from deck to hand. Whoa! Okay, that's already a pretty decent effect because that means just make this guy and you're going to be able to rank him up into something pretty nasty because you're searching any rank up spell. I don't know the best ones off the top of my head, but I know there are some that can just easily jump this guy up a rank or two into just anything generically i believe so that's already something and on top of that getting a foolish burial for a perform age where if you didn't already use something like trick clown being able to also just add an extra level four to your board that's something okay second effect when a card effect is activated that targets this card like potentially a rank up magic that you search with the first effect uh you can special summon one, you're sorry, you can detach one material from this card, do special summon one perform age shadow maker from your extra deck. So you can summon a second one from extra while you're basically ranking this one up going first, or if you're summoning the, the something that's going second, it's got to be tough, but I guess whatever. Uh, okay, wow, all right. And the third effect if the last material is detached from this card. You can target one special, uh, you can special summon one perform age monster from grave. So that's cool because especially since you get the foolish burial something anyway, you should theoretically have some perform ages in grave. Wow, this card has some legs to it. Sorry if I'm jumping around here. I, 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 while I'm figuring out, while I'm still figuring out the best way to go about like making videos that aren't clunky with the with the text on here, I would say maybe try and listen to what I'm saying more so than than what I'm showing here. It's tough to keep up with here. This card has three solid effects. This second effect is not hard ones per turn at all. So theoretically, you could target this with something that's not a rank up, summon a second Shadow Maker, then target it again with a rank up that you searched off the first effect, triggering it again because this effects not once return at all summoning a third shadow maker those two shadow makers can just make you like an, a utopia utopic f0 uh draco f0 whatever he's a monster negate and then this guy's this guy's the one that gets ranked up into something like nasty wow okay this card definitely has some potential now can the archetype beat nibiru all that stuff that's definitely questions about it but there's no if ands or buts about it if you can get into this guy reasonably simply this guy definitely has some some pretty powerful potential with him. Just getting himself on the field can take you pretty far, it looks like. All right. 
Uh, all right, last uh, Exceed monster, Extract monster we have here is the actual Performage Trapeze High Magician. This is the guy that's on the cover, so I hope he's really good. This guy takes only two level five Spellcaster monsters. He is somewhat generic here. Uh, he's a light level five spell, or rank five Spellcaster, 27, 22 for the stats. He's got a bunch of effects. I see no once, once per turns on these. The first one says, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while it has material. That's already pretty, whoa, that's actually already pretty decent just for, like, Zeus. Zeus fodder, right? Your opponent uh, takes any effect damage you would have taken in, uh, you would have taken instead. Uh, you can only apply this effect a number of times per turn up to the number of materials attached to this card. Okay, so if this, if it's like an act, if it's like anytime you would take damage, you can make your opponent take it, but you can't do that a number of times over the amount of materials this card currently has. That's fine. And if this card has Performage Trapeze Magician, so the, the guy we saw above the fusion monster, I guess, is the one we're looking at up there. Oh no, that's a witch. So this is a different one. Who's regular Performage Trapeze Magician? I don't know that one. As material gains this effect. You can attach one material from this card. This card can make up to three attacks during each battle phase this turn, right? Because this is, this is Trapeze Witch. So as long as these translations are on, this is actually not the card it's talking about. Uh, I don't remember which one is actually Trapeze Magician uh, off the top of my head. This card's not terrible, though. Uh, can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. It's definitely a bonus, and it can attack three times as a 2,700 monster, which, by the way, is 8,100 damage. So this card is an OTK during by itself if it, on, into a clear board. Um, and... Uh, also has the ability to burn your opponent for for da any any you know extra damage that this card uh, that you would have taken instead. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, this guy uses I, it's it's maybe playable. I don't know if it's like amazing. I don't know if it's worth being like a cover card. I mean, he looks really cool, but its effects are just not out of this world. I think I think your Shadow Maker definitely it seems a little better to me. Although he does require an extra material, so he's a little tougher to make. Uh, we'll see. All right, final card here is a new rank up magic. Oh, Jesus, it's a quick play spell. You can only activate it one card with this card's name per turn. Target one rank four spellcaster XYZ monster in your graveyard as a cost. Special summon it, but its effects are negated. And if you do, special summon a rank five spellcaster XZ monster from your extra deck by using the first monster as material. And if you do that, attach this card to it as an additional material, the spe the second special summon is treated as an XYZ summon. Wow. Okay, so that this card makes it immensely easier for us to one, OTK with this guy, and two, summon this guy going first, right? You just already probably go through a rank four spellcaster monster at some point in the turn one anyway. Reborn him, just plop Shadow Maker on him anyway. You're gonna have two materials at least on it. And then you go, boom, first effect, search another rank up magic. Second effect, you, when you use that rank up magic, summon a second shadow maker, uh, rank him up into something else, and boom. Wow. And then I, I guess there's gotta be a, a better way to, to get this third effect to pop off. Maybe you have just any other targeting effect. This should be able to trigger anyway, and then you should be able to trigger this for an extra body. There's some there's some stuff here for sure. I think this card's actually not a bad extender at all. You just need to get a rank four, a, like correctly summoned like, like a spell caster exceed engrave. Boom! This card can reborn that pretty easily, pretty freely. That's pretty nice. Uh, then this guy, for OTK purposes. This guy for going first purposes. This guy's pretty bad. I think the fusion's pretty bad. I will say that. Um, decent extender in cup trigger. Decent extender that also gets you fives on field if you need them in Wind Drainer. And then these two, this is another extender, but this one's actually a Stratos. So like, honestly, all in all, pretty decent. Like, like none of the cards, like uh, maybe, like maybe Shadow, Shadow Guy, the rank five, that's the only card that like maybe blows me away, but it only blows me away in the sense of like, how easily can we make him? Can we make him pretty easily, pretty efficiently? If we can, that card's really impressive. A lot of the other cards here, Solid. Don't blow me away. Like this is a pretty simple Stratos as far as like pendulum monsters go. Decent extender with the that can also search a fusion spell. Sure. Uh, extender. Extender. Pretty bad fusion. 
really solid piece to go into going first. Decent piece to be able to summon going second to OTK. And then a rank up magic card that, that actually is pretty strong. Takes a little bit of setup, but that's the story with every rank up magic spell. So I think this one's actually like not the worst, especially since it doesn't even require you to have a body on field. Uh, imagine getting like nipped, right? And then being able to go, uh, I'll use this, targeting a level, my level four spellcaster in grave, and then go, you go into that shadow, your shadow maker line. That's actually pretty nasty. All right. It's kind of cool. I'm a little bit interested here. I'm a little bit interested to see uh, where this goes. Uh, the Pendulum decks tend to not do great in the OCG because Pendulum decks tend to be terrible into Maxi. So I don't expect to see too much from them, but like maybe we'll just see some people messing around with it uh, on YouTube and, and doing combos and stuff. I'd be curious to see what they put together. Not really paying too much attention to Maxi in that regard because uh, it could have a little more application in the TCG, but we'll obviously have to wait and see on that. Otherwise, uh, pretty cool. This is eight whole cards here, so I think we only have like two or three cards left for Animation Chronicle coming down the line here. I hope there's. Some, I know these cards are actually pretty decent here, but all in all, I do feel like this Animation Chronicle still overall has been a little bit disappointing, especially coming off of last year with with Bonfire, with Transaction Rollback, with the Armored Exceed stuff, with. Um, I don't know, Buzz King, right? Like, I felt like there were a decent amount of generic cards. Not many good generic cards here. A couple archetypal support cards that are actually not bad, but we'll have to see if they finish really strong with the last couple. But I will keep you posted on anything that gets revealed there. Other than that, I'm out of here for today. Sorry I've rambled too long. 22 minutes on this video. Apologies on that. Subscribe to the channel, though, if you want to stay tuned for all things Yu-Gi-Oh! news moving forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.